growing up, I often heard the words, you got to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself the way I believe in myself tonight, you will fly. You got to have confidence. You have to believe that you're going to make it. In my whole life, I tried to build that self-belief as high as possible. I did things that I thought would raise my confidence, like trying to make the best grades possible, being ambitious in sports, and trying to be the best version of myself day in and day out. But what I didn't realize was all this work and time I spent trying to build belief in myself was contributing to a vicious cycle that would destroy me if I didn't put a stop to it. By trying to put all of my trust and my faith in myself, I started moving further and further away from what got me to a place where I could believe in myself, starting the vicious cycle. But what's the solution? If we're not supposed to focus on our self-belief, what do we focus on? If you're a fan of this series, you've heard me say it time and time again, but it's the process, the small steps that lead you to where you wanna be. You see, when I was focusing on my self-confidence and my self-belief, the idea of success became this separate thing that I couldn't predict. And so if your self-confidence is based on something that you can't predict, how can it be consistent? How can the thing at your core be related to something that's so random? Life is filled with successes and failures. Those are all part of the process. We can't avoid them. No one can. Even the great Michael Jordan said, I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. So what I found to be more helpful than trying to build my self-belief or confidence has been locking in on the small steps. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It takes to get to where I want to be. But there's one thing to keep in mind when doing this, because it's easy to fall into the trap of what I call empty actions. That means you're doing things that you feel like could progress you to your goals, but they're done at random and without a plan or connection to the vision you're working towards. Times when I found myself doing a lot of empty actions have been followed by phases of burnout and lack of motivation. That's because after a while, you start to question if the steps you're taking are actually leading you to where you want to be and you start to question if you're good enough to achieve such a big thing which leads you back to building more confidence and more self-belief which separates you more and more from what actually got you into the position to even chase your dream in the first place where do we start then how can we focus on the process without burning ourselves out well something i've been trying to do recently has been setting my goals using a process called reverse engineering and basically what that means is you start with the end in mind where do you want to go That's that's the first step. Get clear on that and then take steps backwards from that end vision. Ask yourself what separates you today from that version of yourself that's at the pinnacle you want to reach and fill in the gaps in between. You don't have to have it all figured out, but you want to have achievable, trackable goals that will clearly lead you to where you want to go. Of course, there will always be random roadblocks and obstacles, but if you map out the process leading you from you today to your best self, it's a lot easier to stay on track and persevere through hard times. This is the first video of 2024 for me, and I thought I'd give you guys something that would help you start it off the right way. And if you're watching this in the future, it's still the perfect time to start. Every day is a new day, and each goal is achieved step by step. So map out your steps and keep your faith in the process as you you head towards your vision. I'll see you guys soon.